If we talk about anything, girl, let's talk about us. All the ways I wanna fall in love. All the ways I wanna build to trust. I just got back from the gym, so we're not gonna look at how I look right now, but I haven't had any breakfast yet, so I am gonna go ahead and make one of these. I was gonna have protein powder, but I decided to have one of these instead. It's an oatmeal cup, and it has 14 grams of protein. It's just those Kodak cake ones. I've seen a lot of fitness people eat these. I don't know. I've never had them before. We'll see if they taste good. They're supposed to be really good. We just had a nice little leg day, and I feel like I need to get some protein in my life. I just want to work with like natural lighting today. I'm trying not to use my ring lights because I don't want it to look artificial and I really just don't feel like sitting in front of a bright light today. So we're sitting in front of the window. I hope the lighting is good enough. I cleaned up my room a little bit. It felt good to get things put away, but now it's time to do some skincare. Whenever I feel like my face is getting kind of like ick, I like to use this because it kind of just cleans your face out. It's the Ordinary Chemical Peel. I feel like this is the one that's like super viral. I feel like everyone uses this, but I've been using it for a long time and I feel like it honestly does get your skin like looking a lot nicer and cleaner and I haven't been using it consistently like I want to be. So I'm going to try to get better about that and try to use it at least once a week. I feel like my skin is too sensitive for me to use it more than once a week. I thought this would work good for holding my hair back because this stuff is really sticky and I just washed my hair. It's already kind of drying because it took me a while to clean up my little area, my room. It, it honestly wasn't too bad. Sometimes I feel like this is hard to put on. I'm for sure doing it upside down, but I don't really care if you can see like the branding underneath. So I didn't put anything on my skin after I got out of the shower. I just left it normal, which my skin is so dry. It feels like tight because I didn't like moisturize or put any like serums on or anything. But I'm just going to go ahead and start putting this on. I'm not going to lie. My skin has been really sensitive to this lately and I don't know why. It's been kind of burning pretty bad. So I've been leaving it on like a few minutes less. Like it's already stinging so bad. A few minutes less than the full 10 minutes. And my skin used to handle it. But I feel like because I stopped doing everything that it got like sensitive to it or something. But I also have been using like a lot more vitamin C and stuff on my skin. So I feel like that could be why. Like, my skin's maybe just, like, a little bit more sensitive in general because I've been putting, like, stronger stuff on it. I'm trying to find a skincare routine that works for me. If you guys have any recommendations of, like, products you absolutely love that you cannot live without, let me know in the comments down below. At work, I get a lot of, like, free skincare and, like, makeup and stuff. Like, we get gratis, so I get a lot of free, um, products to test out. So I've been... I just went in my nose. I've been using a lot of the number seven, which is supposed to be really, really good. And honestly, like we get a lot of training on it and it honestly is pretty, like they hype it up a lot and it, it is pretty good. Like the ingredients are good, especially if you want like anti-aging stuff. It's 311. I don't know if I'll make it to 321 the whole 10 minutes because my face is kind of on fire already, but I get a lot of free skincare stuff. So I've been using I'm gonna do down here too, just because I feel like I've been breaking out a lot under there. I'm using a lot of their stronger stuff, and I feel like it's maybe making my skin a little sensitive. I only use it in the morning. I'll show you guys what I use. Let me get my fingers cleaned off. This is just the line that they gave me that I got for free. Honestly, I probably would not have purchased this specific line if I was gonna pick out stuff myself because I do have one that's like anti-aging, but it's for like younger people who are just starting to like get into skincare, I feel like. I probably would have purchased that line, but this is the one that they gave me. It's the Lift and Luminate one. And I don't believe this is the strongest one, but I think it's the second strongest. And it's just like a face cream and serum. And I've been using this in the morning. I use them together. I like it because it has a sunscreen in it, so it makes this smell like sunscreen. And I love it so much. It's fragrance-free, but it does smell exactly like sunscreen. And I'm just like, yes, like, give it to me. I love anything that smells like sunscreen. It's my absolute favorite. And like I said, guys, that's when I am on my skincare routine. I have been slacking a little bit, but when I am on it, this is what I use at night. I use the um, Olay Vitamin C Peptide 24 Serum. 
And I also use their eye cream. It's the exact same thing, just in the eye cream version. And then this is like my ride or die, the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. It's like super lightweight and it really is. I like it because I feel like my pores get clogged so easy, but my skin's also so dry. I hate it. But those are like all the things I've been using on my skin recently. And I kind of stopped, which I feel like is why my skin which I feel like is why my skin is kind of freaking out a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna get her back. Why this sets on my face, I do have a few emails that I have to answer for social media so I'm gonna go ahead and answer those quickly I'm probably just gonna lay on the bed answer them real quick it shouldn't take me too long I think I just have to pick out a few things and send it over to a company so I'm gonna do that quickly while this sets and then I think I'm going to write out a schedule for my week I want to start planning out my weeks like I want to have a set schedule of like when I'm going to do things so that I like actually do them and don't just like oh I'm gonna do it tomorrow like, especially since, like, I have work, like, I want to have something that's set so I know, like, I have to do this then and then this then because I feel like I've just been, like, not doing what I need to do when I need to do it. I've been putting it off, so I'm putting myself on a schedule. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I accidentally fell asleep for a few hours. I was writing my email. I laid down a little bit in the bed. I was like, oh, I'm kind of comfy. I was waiting for my camera to charge and I fell asleep so hard that I woke up feeling like I was in another dimension. I was so out of it. Oh, kind of out of it, honestly. I had to like watch some YouTube snap myself back to reality. But I feel like getting ready will help me feel better. So I'm gonna do my hair. Honestly, and we just had the time change, so like, like two days ago, so things have just been like weird. Like the time just feels so off. But I just feel like doing my hair will make me feel more alive, more awake, more put together. So I'm gonna do my hair and then we will make the list, well, the schedule of getting our life together for the rest of the week. Today's Tuesday. I don't work Sunday, Monday, Tuesdays. So those are like my weekend days. Like you do, give me the west side blues, yeah. So I was going to write out my plans in bed, but obviously last time I laid down in bed, that didn't work out so well. So we're going to sit up this time. We're not going to get back in bed because that did not work out well. Um, I am going to write everything down in this little book. I believe my friend got me this for my birthday. It's super cute. It just says, it is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. And it's kind of just like a galaxy print little notebook and I do have like some stuff written in here like my ideas for like YouTube and TikTok and then yeah that's really all I have in here <laughs> but on this page I'm gonna go ahead and just like map out each day and we're gonna start well obviously today's Tuesday so we'll start with Wednesday tomorrow is actually my friend's birthday and I believe we might go out to eat at some point or do something that nice so that is gonna kind of affect my day a little bit so I'm gonna put because I do work at 10 tomorrow so I'm gonna put I feel like writing things down just like helps me actually get things done I want to try to go to the gym early tomorrow since I do possibly have to go out with her for her birthday later after work so I'm gonna put gym at 7 a.m. It's hard to get on a schedule, especially when you're off three days in a row because then you get used to sleeping in again. So it's hard to be a morning person when you are just not one. Then 10 to six, we're going to work. And I don't even know why, like I don't dislike what I do. I just feel like it takes up so much of my day, <laughs> which it does. It's like eight hours of my day gone. It's so funny because I feel like when I'm at work, I'm like wasting my day away, which it's not because I'm working, but like in my head, I'm like, I could be doing so much more stuff for my social media. I could just be doing so many other productive things that I feel like will benefit my future. I kind of want to try to go to the gym in the morning every day, but it's kind of hard and I'm definitely not going to make it to the gym early on Thursday because I have to be to work at 8 a.m. I, that's so early. I love going in early, earlier because I get off earlier, but like I hate getting up early. So we're not going to plan any kind of anything before work because I have to get up at 6 a.m. already. And after work, we're going to go straight to the gym. I'm going to like make myself pack a gym bag and just go straight there because the gym is on my way home. And I feel like if I come home first, I'm not going to want to 
go back out so because i'm probably gonna be tired since i'm getting up so early like it just depends like sometimes i'll be really tired if i get up early but then sometimes i'll feel really really good and like have a lot of energy i'm really just trying to get myself on a gym routine so that's more or less why i'm trying to make a schedule I'm trying to work out at least four days a week and my plan is to go monday through thursday because obviously i can get up early monday and go during the day because I don't work. I can go early Tuesdays. So then really, the only days I'm having to go at night are Wednesday, Thursday, and that's really not that bad. So I think that's what I'm going to stick to. Well, that did not take as long as I thought because I thought I was going to have more to plan out. Usually I have more, like, specific things I'm go like I have to put in my list. Like, usually I'll have, like, certain, like, brand deals that I have to do, like, by a certain time. But I really only have one right now, and it's got a pretty big window of when I can get it done. So it's not like I have to do it right now. I do want to start getting more content out though on a regular basis, especially for TikTok. If you guys haven't followed my TikTok, it is in the description box below. Um, but I do post, I do try to post on there every single day, every single day, Monday through Sunday, every day, seven days a week. I want to start posting on Instagram more too, like picture wise. So I need to start taking pictures as well in my outfits that I try on for Romwe and like Shein, whatever the TikTok may be. That's usually the brands I work with for TikTok clothing wise. So I feel like I should start taking maybe some cute pictures because a lot of the clothes that I pick out are, I feel like they're pretty cute and usually aesthetic. Sometimes I don't get to pick, but I just want to say the fact that I fell asleep for two hours. Well, I don't really know if it was two hours, but I feel like I laid around for two hours. I did not let that derail my getting my life together day. And I feel like normally I would have just been like, okay, I give up on the rest of the day because I fell asleep. Let's just restart tomorrow. But I was like, nope, you know what? We're already, we've already made it this far. We're just going to keep going. We are going to complete the day. We're going to be productive. We're going to get stuff done. We're going to finish it. And honestly, I feel like I didn't even really have that, that much to do, but it's just like little things I wanted to get done. And, like, I feel like I did good. Like, I went to the gym, got my room cleaned up. You know, it's the little victories. You gotta clap for yourself on the little victories. You know what? We got we got stuff done today, and that's an accomplishment. All I can see is I have a little viewfinder on top of my camera. All I can see is, like, how shiny my skin looks, and I feel like I can't tell if it looks, like, good shiny or, like, greasy from everything that I just did earlier, but I feel like I need to wash my face. Guys, well, it is literally 8.05. It's pretty... Can you guys even see that? It's literally 8.05. It's pretty late now, so I think that I'm going to end the vlog. I think I'm going to end the video here. I do have to actually run to the store because I am going to make my friend a little, a little cake or like some chocolate-covered strawberries for tomorrow to go with the gift I got her. So I am going to do that and probably just go to bed but thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps my channel out so much and I appreciate it so much. You guys already know that. I feel like I say this outro every video. I feel like I need to change it up. But <laughs> let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more videos like this of me attempting to get my life together. Maybe we can make it a series. Maybe we could get our lives together together. But that is going to be it for today, guys. I love you so, so much. And I will see you in the next one.